friends, fellow YouTubers, Herb Lindsay here. How you doing? Well, as you guys know, on Herb TV, we explore Cincinnati history. And today I'm out along the banks of the Ohio River at the old Longworth Hall, which used to be the freight yards for B&O Railroad. It was built in 1904, but that's not why I'm here. Behind me is a huge structure. We're gonna talk about it, do a little roundabout, throw up the drone, and uh, yeah, stick around. This would be a good one. Now many of you may have seen this old vine covered building. Now it's winter time right now. And so when I do stuff like this in the winter time, you can see the building a little easier because there's no foliage. But uh, this used to be a, uh, I believe an engine house, a pump, pump house or something. Um, this was part of a roundhouse. Now, Here's a question. When this was per first posted to the Cincinnati Then and Now Facebook group, by the way, if you're not a member, go check it out. Uh, there's also a group called Cincinnati Nostalgia. I love it too. I post there as well. You'll find me on both of those groups. But uh, when this was first posted, I had somebody say, oh, it's an old roundhouse. And I was like, okay, you know, I don't know anything about railroads. What the heck is a roundhouse? Well, um, another member of the group actually posted the schematics for when this was built. Here's one of the doors. No, no, not the rock group. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> there are actually construction photos of this. Uh, and you can see it being built. Now, the secret to know what direction you're looking from is this. I'm pretty sure this was the actual end from the... Uh, another member was good enough to post the schematics. This was the end. And I'll tell you what a roundhouse is. But hold on just a moment. Uh, there is a door or an entrance and a window on the end. This marks this corner. Now this is kind of facing south. This is facing east. And in this, in, on this side we have, we have this, the sun's right in my face, I can't see my display. We have this door here. And then we have, I don't know if you can see it, barely see it through all the vines. You have one, two, looks like two, we'll call them windows. <laughs> now up here, I'm not seeing any above, it looks like solid brick up there. So if you go to look for, if you go to look for pictures of this being constructed, just to give some perspective of which side is which. Now, this was the end corner, and this side has the little window. We'll call them windows, they've been bricked up. Little window things up there, all right? It also has the series of larger windows on this side. All right, guys, Longworth Hall is over there. Here is our last remaining structure. If you know what was in that structure, chime in, tell us, leave a comment. The roundhouse was a semicircular structure that went like this. All right. And right about here, where I'm standing, was a giant turntable. <laughs> now, I do not know the exact uh, <laughs> I do not know the exact location of the turntable. I'm guessing, but I'm guessing it is out here uh, in the, uh, or maybe the second space down uh, right here in the adjacent parking places. Now, what was it? So think about 18 wheelers. If an 18 wheelers engine quits running, what do they do? Well, they're going to pull it into the garage. They're going to pull it into a bay and they're going to work on it. Don't exactly have that type of luxury with a train so they would pull the engine onto this giant turntable and in that roundhouse would be 
I don't know how many this had, but I'm guessing anywhere from a half a dozen to a dozen bays, and each bay had a track going into it. They'd pull the engine onto the giant turntable, and then the turntable would be moved, hence the need for a steam engine to power the whole thing back for electricity. Although, when this was built in 1906, they did have electricity, but I'm not sure how mature the technology was. But anyway, this probably housed the engine, from what I read, that powered the turntable. And it would turn and connect with one of those bays where they would send it. That's where they would do their maintenance or whatnot on it. Now, one of you guys can chime in if I'm wrong. I am not an expert in this, but this was the site of a roundhouse. You're expecting drone footage just then, weren't you? Yeah, so was I. Uh, evidently, battery on a drone has to be at least a minimal temperature <laughs> to uh, to run. So, uh, on a cool day when the temperature is in the upper 40s, lower 50s, uh, keep your drone battery in your pocket. Yeah. So I'm, I'm currently hatching, it's like an egg, you have to hatch it, keep it warm. I'm currently hatching my battery, it's in my jacket pocket, and we'll see if that makes some type of a difference here in a minute. Otherwise, hey, thanks for watching, appreciate it, everybody. Sorry there's no drone footage, that would be fun, but... <sighs> Anyhow, maybe another time, I want to do a Longworth haul video, so maybe when I do the Longworth haul video we'll get some drone footage. Thanks for watching everybody, appreciate it, enjoy the rest of your week, keep fighting a good fight, hey y'all, see you in the next video.